as usual, the White Rabbit teasers have given us all even more things to look into and break down. So we'll see what's going on there. We'll also see the latest on Baron Corbin's disappearance and more. Let's start things off with the latest news and teasers surrounding the White Rabbit. The song continued to be played at live events with some small but noticeable changes. One of the changes made this week was the inclusion of smoke near the entrance stage. Some fans claimed that the red lights even made what appeared to be a red circle in the middle of the ring. If what those fans saw is true, that's important and believable because the red circle has been a reoccurring theme throughout these teasers. The red circle is even inside the white rabbit's eyes, so that's just a symbol that's always there. As everyone knows by now, the red circle has been mostly used by Bray Wyatt, with the idea being that everything comes back around, everything comes full circle. A story ends where it first began at, everything just comes fully back around. And it's pretty insane just how true that is, especially for Bray. He started in WWE, was released, he talked about how sad and upset he was, and now potentially everything is coming back full circle and he could return to WWE after all. So Bray's actual pro wrestling career fits perfectly into the red circle theme. But let's get into the new teasers from Raw. The QR code teaser this week leads you to a few private TikTok videos that have been posted by the individual behind the White Rabbit. The video is a mashup compilation of WWE superstars saying some of the things the White Rabbit has been saying over the last few weeks. When put together, the clips all said, Who killed the world? You did. Feed your head. That first question popped up in the very first Raw teaser, and the phrase, feed your head, appears in the actual White Rabbit song itself, but also appears to be a little catchphrase of the White Rabbit now as well. The zip code posted in one of those TikTok videos leads you to an area that showcases a massive rabbit that's outside at what appears to be on a farm of some sorts. On the surface, that appears to be it for the teasers, but fans continued to dig into it. Fans looked up some coding behind this week's raw teasers and even found some messages hidden inside the video URL, and they found even more interesting things. The zip code takes you to Corbin, Kentucky. The only real piece of history there was that The Fiend faced off against The Miz at that location. Fans also dug up some history, that Bray Wyatt's last match before becoming The Fiend was against Baron Corbin as well. The coding of the teaser also revealed some lines from Aleister Black's old WWE theme song. The two lines hidden in the coding read, No man is ever truly good, no man is ever truly evil which are legitimate lines from Aleister Black's theme song. So fans felt like maybe that was hidden in there just to mess with the fans and get them to maybe second guess themselves on if Bray Wyatt is truly the one behind the White Rabbit. So putting the Aleister Black lines in there made fans sit back with their hands on their chins for a moment, but Aleister Black shot that theory and idea right back down to the ground immediately. Aleister Black took to Instagram to deny those rumors and theories and revealed that he hasn't even been granted his full release from AEW. So the idea of Aleister Black being involved gets completely wiped off the surface. Maybe that's what WWE was going for. Maybe they wanted the list of suspects behind the White Rabbit mystery to grow a bit longer than just Bray Wyatt. They probably didn't want it to be so obvious, but Aleister Black shut that down fast. So it was a good idea, but Bray Wyatt is right back on the top as the only real suspect behind the mystery. And the teasers and hints didn't stop there. The teasers now went over to the official White Rabbit YouTube channel. This is the official channel that has the original music video for White Rabbit. They only had one video posted and it was the White Rabbit video that was uploaded over 15 years ago. No other video posted in the history of the channel after that until after the September 26th edition of Raw. For the first time in 15 years, that White Rabbit Records YouTube channel posted a quick video that showcased the zip code of 04062. Enter that zip code on Google and you're taken to a city in Maine named Windham. 
Winham, just in case you didn't know, is Bray Wyatt's actual first name. So an obvious connection back to Bray Wyatt once again. So it's just absolutely insane how much detail, time, and just talent is showcased throughout this mystery. In comparison to other recent return teasers and vignettes, it just blows them out of the water. Like the teaser for Edge's return leading up to SummerSlam were pretty cool, but obviously even that can't hang with a white rabbit. Not only does the actual teaser scream Bray Wyatt, but even the little attention to details like that within the teasers just scream Bray Wyatt as well. A lot of fans are wondering what will happen if it turns out not to be Bray Wyatt. Well, in that case, no matter who would be behind the reveal, it's going to be a massive disappointment, especially after having so much signs that point to Bray Wyatt. Only for it to be revealed to be someone else would be extremely devastating. But hopefully that's an outcome we don't have to deal with, and hopefully it is Bray Wyatt after all. In between all the White Rabbit buzz, the disappearance of a big SmackDown superstar has quietly gone under the radar and unnoticed. So let's bring that story back up and see what's going on there. This SmackDown superstar being Baron Corbin. Corbin was last seen on the September 2nd edition of SmackDown. After suffering another defeat, Corbin goes out to the parking lot only to find JBL's limo just passing by. We hear JBL ask Corbin about what happened to him and then told Corbin to get in and they drove off together. And with little references to Corbin in the few new White Rabbit teasers, Fans have went back to this Corbin and JBL segment for possible clues that we might have missed all those weeks ago. Triple H likes to hide little things in the background of other segments, so it's definitely a possibility. One thing was found by fans, but it definitely leans more to the side of being a reach. When Corbin opens the door to get in JBL's limo, a blacked out figure emerges from the production truck and just stands there for the rest of the segment. That build of the individual definitely shares some resemblance to Bray Wyatt's build. So fans were wondering if that moment was actually the very white rabbit Easter egg that flew right over everyone's head. It's definitely possible. It was pretty out of the ordinary for this individual to appear during the segment and just stand still in the background. But again, it's probably just fans reaching a bit too far. But either way, regardless if it's related or not, Corbin has been missing for almost a month now. The appearance of JBL's voice in limo definitely makes it seem like JBL could be returning to television to manage a repackaged new version of Baron Corbin. He went through the broke stage, he went through the happy Corbin stage, so could this pairing with JBL introduce a whole new Corbin? Maybe we see a new version of Corbin that gets more serious again underneath JBL's leadership. So hopefully we do see that pairing sometime here in the near future. But what are your thoughts on today's stories with the White Rabbit and Baron Corbin? Leave your comments, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching guys.